I fully realized that I had said I was going to do the brass tube thing like for an ordinary pen blank, but I'm going to give this one more try. I was thinking about it last night and that don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. Now this morning when I got up, I knew that I was going to have a lot of comments. In fact, I knew that when I clicked upload yesterday. Thank you for those comments. Even though I didn't reply, I read every one. Now brace yourself. I agreed with everyone. Brace yourself even more. I knew all that before I started yesterday. Not bragging or anything, but I knew all those things. So why did I continue to screw up? I don't know. Must be old and stubborn. Anyway, I'm going to do things a little bit different today. And we're going to try it again, like I did yesterday, only without the screw-ups. One of the things I'm going to do is periodically I'm going to stop and make sure that the vibration hasn't loosened things up. Like for instance maybe the tailstock's coming out or the jaws are loosening up. That would cause the problem too. What made me think of that was a comment one of the viewers made. Now another thing I'm doing different is I'm increasing my RPM. I can't remember what I had it at yesterday but I think it was under 2000 RPM. 1800 sort of sticks in my mind. But I didn't pay a whole lot of attention, so it, maybe that was part of my problem. Now those of you who have turned a lot of acrylic, please comment. You know, my lathe will go up to about 3200. Would 3200 actually be better? Please, give me a comment. Now one of the viewers has given me this suggestion before, and it's really smart. It's called the ABC rule. And it goes like this. A. Anchor your tool on the tool rest. B. Start out by writing the bevel. C. Raise the handle of your tool so that it begins to cut. Well this all makes sense. But no, I wasn't doing that yesterday. I was just digging it in. Okay, I've continued to use the roughing gouge to turn it down. I did try the scraper a little bit. I found no problems over here, but when I started to touch here on the corners, you know, the scraper began to grab. And I don't want to be fooling around too much with the roughing gouge because I don't want it to catch the corner and get dragged into the chuck here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, turn a little section down right here that is, will be the same diameter as this and then it will meet up with this and then sort of part it off here um, anyway you'll see what I'm going to do here or at least what I hope I'm going to do
I don't know if you can sense it or not, but I'm starting to get a little bit paranoid here with my parting tool. And uh, I want to quit while I'm ahead. I'm at the point now where I can sand it down, get some sort of a little sheen going on there, and uh, then later, with a saw, cut it in the right place here, and cut it off there, and then just sort of sand over the uh, end so it's nice and smooth. At least, like I've said before, that's the plan. Now, your lathe may not have this problem, but mine is allergic to water. It breaks out in rusty blisters every time it gets wet. So, we'll try and uh, keep it from getting wet. I'm going to start out at about 500 RPM, and then I'll increase because I don't want to be throwing water all over the place. I found that with pen blanks I can get up to almost a thousand before it actually starts uh, throwing water off the uh, blank. Starting out with 1500 I'm going to work my way right up to 12,000. That's as far as it goes. Let's try it a little faster here. It's a little bit too fast. I think that's going to be good enough for a reamer handle. And remember viewers, please do comment and tell me at what RPM do you find works best for your acrylic blanks.